Today, we're going to look at our HTML page where we have some JavaScript on the page and what it takes to move it off the page into a separate JavaScript file. Now, here we have a real simple HTML page, just lorem ipsum text, nothing important. But if I reload the script, we notice we get a simple alert, just a little hello world. And if I look at the source code, you can see that I got the script with the alert hello world right there. It's very simple, and for simple little scripts, it's not uncommon for the script to be on the web page itself. However, as our scripts become more and more complicated, sometimes being hundreds, if not even thousands of lines long for those truly interactive websites, we don't want those to be part of the HTML page because it makes debugging much more difficult to do. Instead, we'd rather move it to an external file. That way, if our script is used on multiple pages, it doesn't have to be constantly re-downloaded each time as part of the web page. So it'll actually speed up how fast the website moves. So what I've done is I've created an external.js file here. And all I have to do is select my text, move it into the external JavaScript file. Notice I don't have to put the script tags inside my JavaScript file. I'm going to save it. And now you'll notice I just have my script tag. Now my script tag can actually do two things. Inside my tag, it can have the JavaScript I want to run, or I can type in the attribute of source, src, equals, and then give it the file name. Now there is one thing to note, that while I have no content here inside of my script tag, I cannot delete this closing script tag. It is not a self-closing tag, and it must have the closing script tag itself. I'm going to save this. Go back to my browser, refresh, and it works just as it did before. One of the major advantages to using an external JavaScript file is not just with moving our own scripts out, but also importing other scripts that other people have written. So we can import a JavaScript library like jQuery or Extended or any of those others that are out there. We can import specialized libraries that do things like image slideshows. We don't have to write them ourselves. We just reference those external libraries, and then we just have to call them to use them. And it makes our life as a developer much easier. So that is how you move a script to be external. This simple example doesn't have to be expanded very much to work on larger scripts. The only difference is the number of lines you have to copy over. If you like this tutorial, don't for, if you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter.